Hello and welcome to this video regarding 2 Protection 2.1.1 Fundamentals of Computer Systems of the OCR GCSE Computing Specification. Um, this is intended as revision material. Uh, if you're revising for your exams at the moment, good luck. I hope you do really well. Let's get started. So OCR say that you need to be able to define a computer system, describe the importance of computer systems in the modern world, explain the need for reliability in computer systems, explain the need for an adherence to suitable professional standards for the development, use and maintenance of computer systems, and explain the importance of ethical and environmental and legal considerations when creating computer systems. A lot to get through, let's get on with it. So, a computer system has four basic characteristics. The first one is the ability to input data. You might think input data can only mean keyboard and mouse, but there's loads of other different ways of doing it as well. So for example, what I'm using at the moment, a microphone to record my voice. It needs to be able to store data, so there needs to be some form of data storage available for it to be able to record information. Most often, some form of hard drive, SSD drive, or other storage device. It needs to be able to process data, that's where our friend the CPU comes into play, which can then process instructions and take us from A to B, which then finally shows us the output of the data. So without the output of the data, so for example a monitor, um, you can type away, you can give instructions, but without that output you can't see what you've done. Some pieces of hardware combine input and output together, so for example a touchscreen device such as an iPhone. So, importance of the computer systems in the modern world. First of all, convenience. How easy is it for you to be able to sit at home and, for example, find some Lego at Argos, compare the price with the Lego shop, and then compare the price on eBay? Without computer systems, you'd have to go to different shops physically to be able to do that. Comfort. Being able to make sure that you can control your heating from home, your heating at home, from when you're out and about. So, how nice is it to be able to set your heating to come on on a cold winter's night when you're just about to leave school to go back home and well-being as well being able to communicate with other people and be able to share emotions and feelings and be able to express those using technology safety finally as well so for example with parents take letting their children go to their first gig or going to the city with their friends being able to have some sort of smartphones be able to communicate them and in some places as well be able to track where they are Reliability can be defined as the ability to be relied upon or depended on as for accuracy, honesty or achievement. And we're going to try and look at this from a computing point of view. So for example, what happens if you're playing your favourite game and it freezes? Sometimes you throw the controller against the wall or smash the keyboard up, but you don't want it to freeze. You don't want it to stop playing. Sometimes it might be through the mobile phone game and the signal drops. Or it could be that your processor overloads, you get a blue screen and the game crashes. You don't want that to happen. What happens if your mobile phone battery overheats? So instead of looking at software, looking at hardware, there's always stories in the press about mobile phone batteries exploding. You don't want that to happen. Testing and maintenance in the beginning and the designing stages of a computer system can help to prevent this from happening. So if you're testing different inputs to make sure that they can be dealt with or testing different um, pieces of hardware to make sure they can take a current, that should be fine. And maintenance as well, upgrading and updating pieces of code and technology. Professional standards in the use of maintenance. In the 1980s, there were multiple manufacturers with dif different standards, so for example, data transfer, different protocols for mice and keyboard usage. Different standards which you can look at today are USB and Bluetooth, being able to use um, and transmit pieces of information, so for example, USB keyboards. Software, TCP IP is the backbone of how the internet works and how it communicates. ASCII for data interchange. These are really important standards because everyone adheres to, everyone's fine. So we can look at ethical impact. So the BCS uh, have a code of conduct for its members to be able to be ethical and stand up and forthright in the community. Environmental, there's uh, the WEE regulations and recycling issues as well to be considering. There's legal issues such as the Data Protection Act, Computer Misuse Act, Copyright and Designs and Patents Act, Cyberbullying and also Sexting. All these considerations need to be taken into place when you create computer systems. Is there something you should be upholding as part of a code of conduct? Is there recycling issues with the other pieces of hardware? Are you going to be breaking a potential piece of law? This has been a very short video, helpful, hopefully helpful with your revision, to be able to define a computer system, describe the importance of computer systems in the modern world, explain the need for reliability, adherence to professional standards, and explain the moral, uh, the ethical, environmental, and legal considerations when creating computer systems. Hope this helped. Good luck for your exams.